There's a lot of debate about the roles of religion and science in our society. A lot of people question if there is ever harmony between these fundamental beliefs, or is it all conflict? I come from a group of 1.57 billion people, and to these believers, science in the modern days is considered verification of the Quran itself. In Islam, religion and science are equal. The question becomes, how can a single book contain both religious spirituality and scientific facts at the same time? We live on planet Earth, a planet composed of 28.9% land and 71.1% water, together a 100% Earth. By counting the repetition rates of the word Al-Barr and the word Al-Bahr, one can accurately calculate the ratio of land to water on Earth by performing the following calculation. Modern science declares that a black hole creates an immense gravitational pull, not unlike an invisible cosmic vacuum cleaner. As it moves, it sucks in all matter in its way, not even light can escape. The keywords in this description of black holes are invisible, vacuum, moves. We find in Surat al taqwir a passage from the Quran that began with saying, Is the shamsu kuwirat? Besides the metaphor used to describe the sun dying, folded up, the passage also alludes to other related cosmic events, as we see in a few lines later, فَلَا أُقْسِمُ بِالْخُنَّسِ الْجَوَارِ الْكُنَّسِ Pulsars are highly magnetized rotating neutron stars that emit a beam of electromagnetic radiation, a beam which can be detected here on Earth. The radiation from the Vega Pulsar was recorded at Jordel Bank Center for Astrophysics. This is a playback of the audio file. The Quran says in Surah Al-Tariq, وَالسَّمَاءِ وَالطَّارِقِ وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا الطَّارِقِ النَّجْمُ الثَّاقِبِ Within the 30 chapters of the Quran, one will find over 1,000 facts that are verified by the modern science collective today. The number is still increasing. The two critical questions that come to mind now. One, how could Muhammad, who is an illiterate, acquire and spread this information 1,400 years before its discovery by modern science? Two, if such a book exists, how much do you know about it?